All right, here we go. Poink. Mm. Okay, bud. The go. galactic slingshot is really fun, bud. Oh. Yeah, I was. I'm doing that in another game. You can get yourself across the entire galaxy in like seconds. Okay. There you go. Begin Where's your the galactic slingshot? It's a uh, um, ascension or a, a perk, like a starting perk. Huh. Is it only for certain uh, empire types? Um, let me see. Hang on one second. Um, I guess my empire I built before the uh, before Overlord. So let's see. It's an origin slingshot to the stars. Yes, you do. Okay. That must be one that uh, they like released with the new uh, with uh, Overlord. Then, if we have a competition, yes, you are cooler, buddy. So I'm looking at the galaxy and like the voids where like, there's the void the in the center is? of the galaxy, you and then there's chest. the uh, the um, um, like the the voids where I don't have intel to know even what's there, and it kind of looks like the souls from Soul Eater. <laughs> huh. Huh. was a good anime. I should watch that one again. I posted a link about it. Ah, okay. I'll have to check that out later. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Move there and... Subjugations, guarantees up, being revoked. Research complete. Uh, Gooey, I think, is the Heartberry and the Bomb Peppers. Took more damage. Yeah. That's with the Heartberry. The Heartberry is the fruit. Well, right now... Well, well, you've got some. Oh, the gooey. Yeah, I could try and make more of those, bud. But for now, um, it's already making something else. I'll do it next. Research complete. Research. Excellent. Okay. Yep. Handshake protocols activated. Okay. Sorry, no, we will not be a sub. We will not uh, be a subject. Construction complete. Oh 
Oh no, blue pepper wrap must not be that. It might be a different fruit that we no longer have. <laughs> you sorted it. Leave it alone. It's fine that way. That was with the double arrow button. That's the sort button. Yep. These are where the seeds have been hiding. I got it. No worries. All right, thank you very much. Construction complete. Ooh, we haven't found the Galactic um, Council yet. Oh, Never mind, we have. we have the council. Do we not have the market, though? We do, yeah. Ah, okay. See, so listen, Patcher. I think you just walk away from the computer. Tingle of technology. And your, and your mom will take care of it later. Hidden in a deep crater on the asteroid surface. Evidently, someone has, with rather simple Have means, night, managed Jethro. to stabilize a one way wormhole. And science officer quickly asserts the asteroid is an exit point. The other end opens up somewhere in uncharted space, some light years away uh, from a black hole, and small quantities of dark matter are leaking, <laughs> being siphoned through the wormhole. Whoever set this up seems to have abandoned the operation. Oh, yeah, that. So, anyways. Let's see. Oh, the gateway. They would never want to use. 
use subjugation cast your spell against us. It was open, so I thought that was the same blue stone. Uh, it kind of has a little bit of water around it. Yeah. Yes. Is there a noble out yes. there making deals? Okay. Yeah, that was very helpful when I was mining, so... Yep. Yes. Yes, he does. He goes in a big, bad circle, so... Pretty big, and I've seen a sneak preview that if you get all the three guys, it gets actually, like, even if you find the edge, gets a little bit bigger after you've defeated all three guys. Excuse me. You are excused. Okay. Research complete. Yep. I'm back over here trying to get more tin. Because I used a whole bunch of it between making that armor for jets so as well as the anvil. Uh, follow the path and then south. Where my pen? Yes, we will absolutely give you some of our alloys for our One thing, uh, just as a random side note, um, if people are play, um, if people may find it useful to check out your uh, check out your government. Um, um, civics because at least one of mine changed uh, with the Overlord expansion so that uh, it no longer actually was something that was useful to me. Mm. So just something worthwhile to check out. Because like franchising, for example, does not do anything close to what it was doing before. Okay. Research complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. All right. 
Yeah, yeah, they gave us a gift. That was nice. Of Subject to a subjugation, Cassius Belli. Construction complete. Okay. Independence guarantee. Construction complete. So we get to do.
That's cute. Little guy thinks, oh, I'm going to expand those by orbital research stations. And what? That's kind of my, that's why I said that's funny. Because I'm like, um, are you stoned? We dealt with that a long time ago, my friend. Obviously, you need to take over some, you know, unproductive areas of uh, your neighbors. See, the whole clans have taken children building the science nexus. Alright, a lot of waiting for stuff to finish up. Research complete. Yeah, need research. Great. Holy mother. Complete. Don't worry about anything, guys. That one window open that opened last time, I figured out um, it's alt tilde that opens and closes it. Okay. Thanks. You 
you do something. Construction complete. Research complete. Complete. Mm -hmm. Construction complete. That's a fair number of Cassius Bellies, I see.
So anyone here who is not overwhelming militarily? Okay, I found someone. I found someone who's literally pathetic to me. Search complete. Nerve damper. Who's open their borders? Construction complete. Construction complete.
research complete. Ships upgraded. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Poor Leviathan just stole money into own business and Yeah, poor Leviathan. Speaking of poor Leviathans, um I have an ancient threat I have to deal with that reminded me. If you need anything pacified, let me know. Oh, I don't think this can be pacified. It's going to be pacified with a uh, hot laser fire. Like, very hot laser fire. Because evil psychic clouds really aren't pacifiable. Construction complete. We tried bubbling them. Tried a lot of things. Now I'm gonna try blowing the ever-loving hell out of it. I'm told that will work. Research complete. Ships upgraded. See, <clears throat> million in it. And fortified core layers. Scientists. Excavate the site. Ships upgraded. Looking for camouflaging ancient structures on the street. Ooh, I'm taking down the Grand Dragon shard. Ooh. Sweet. What the hell was Five. that? It's for the Rubicator, I believe. Why did you do that? <laughs> there we go. Nothing. Shard has done nothing wrong. Oh, never mind. Shard is a pain <laughs> in my ass. <laughs> I 
Construction complete. And refugees. Construction complete. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Search complete. You are opening up to me even though I literally have no idea.
Construction complete. Mm. Why are you falling in the Do see you now just superior to me instead of over with. I wasn't sure if you were back or not. Because I swore I heard you before, but I think you're just like, getting something out of your room. 
Oh, okay. So I reorganized a little bit. This is driving me nuts. Uh, because th these two tool benches and the anvil are connected to the chest with the most stuff. So now those should be able to, like, you don't even need to have them in your inventory. You could just use them. And also, I've noted if we all want the um, armor that Jet has, we need 45, we need 45 tin, 45 copper, Research and 36 um, of the fiber. So we're a bit away. Okay, I mean, we could get somebody else closer, but that's why I went and did just a whole bunch of regular <laughs> copper mining. Because we're short on copper too. Well, yeah, pretty much. But I mean, I did that already with Jet's armor, and we only had twenty copper left after making his because you need copper, tin, and fiber to make this armor. So, and I also destroyed all of our cloth to get back some fiber, too. I mean, granted, I'm growing fiber, but I just don't have a whole bunch of seeds, so I can only grow, like, two or three at a t well, four at a time at this point. So, big thing, I think, um, I'm not, I don't think Jet's doing it on purpose, but I think if he thinks, I don't see a purpose for this, Jet wants to just throw stuff away. And I'm like, please don't, because I need those seeds. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. Ah. Uh. So, I purposely made purple, the food and seed one. The black one is like all the supplies. Gold one is like all the valuables and stuff we're not going to use very often. Red is like spare tools. Like, um, I don't know if Jed has in his inventory, but, you know, like there's the offhand, the... the Thing over as a backpack. There's a spare backpack okay. in the red um, um, chest that gives a little bit more um, item slots in his inventory so he can hold more. And then like white is kind of miscellaneous in general, like the paints and like anything we can't fit in the black chest. So that's kind of how I organized um, thingies. And I also, I don't think it makes a difference, but I put the cooking pot also next to the purple to kind of help remember that that's what the purple is, is the cooking pot, so. Yep, so that's how I organized it, so. Then again, um, I sat by you for a while and unsure, you know, just to see how long. Um, after two whole rotations of the worm going by, I'm like, okay, it's going to be a bit before Rachel comes back. <laughs> No worries. It's just... Oh, and also the larva meat. We do need it for some crafting stuff. That's why I haven't cooked with it right away. But I put it in the food chest to hopefully prevent um, anybody taking it. So. Yeah, it's from when you kill the, the, the bugs that have a chance. The bigger they are, the more likely they are going to drop the meat. But even the smaller ones, I just... Because I didn't, I saw a bigger one and I'm like, nope, I just backed away before it spotted me. Um, but the smaller ones, I killed a whole bunch of the smaller ones to get to one set of tin before um, I left where around where you were. And um, they were the ones that dropped the one. And I also, okay, so like this down here, technically it only is two walls that you could break it if you wanted to go down that way. But I purposely blocked it off to, like, prevent mobs coming in here, as well as there was a pathway here that I blocked off up here. Because we already have two aisleways going straight up that's like, we do not need this many open doors. So I'm just trying to, because 
in future there's a mob that's like a goblinoid that literally they'll break down your doors if you put even just if you put doors doors are good against like slimes and whatnot but the goblinoid will actually mine your doors so it's like the less pathways we have in like this area we should honestly wall off a good chunk of it so it's at least down to one pathway because this is wide yeah. open for anybody like and they come in and like when they do mob when we finally find them which is why i'm trying not to explore too much until we're ready for like the next level like when we get the iron table because once we find them they will constantly like send groups of 10 to attack us at our home base yes so it's like the longer we can wait finding them, the better. <laughs> so that's why I'm not exploring like too much. Like I'm just sticking with areas that I know are slime areas where we can get copper and areas where I know we can get tin. It's like, and I'm trying not to explore too much more because usually the iron, the area that's tin and the area that's like iron and more for like those goblinoids are on like different sections of the map. So they should be far enough away that it's like, Okay, as long as I don't go the polar opposite of the tin area, we shouldn't mm -hmm. find the goblins anytime mm -hmm. soon. So, kind of my thought on that matter. Um, I would say don't go to the bottom right, because I, that mm -hmm. would be more the polar opposite, for sure. Because the upper right, I think, is where the... Oh no, the big bad slime thing is down here. I would say for now avoid the rights too much like i the area that we found kind of upper right ish is where i was finding a bunch of copper but i mean definitely if we go more by the slime area down there we will definitely find a whole bunch of um copper because slime and copper kind of tend to be in the same area that'd be my friendly suggestion Yeah, that, yeah, and I think that's where he found the area, and then he hasn't gone back there since. Like, he started going in there, and then we're like, we all need tin, and so he came over by us and started helping with tin, so. Mm. I think so. There might be, like, tin... Sorry, go ahead. There might be, there might be, um, but it seems like so far, it's like all the tin is sticking together, you know, kind of idea, and then it's just one of those, I was just going to say that, um, um, that we might find tin in like the steel area, for example, like we found copper in the tin area, it's just one of those that I think, um, I'm just trying to avoid, like, things coming in the same area that, um, that it's like, overall, it seems like copper and slime seem to be next to each other and tin and bugs. So it's just like, once we hit iron, like a big quadrant of iron, I really do have the feeling that, like, it is going to be, um, those goblin guys, and I really don't want to deal with them right this minute. <laughs> like, I want us to be more prepared because I've watched, um, one streamer group that we watched, um, they've been playing this game, and they, they did, where they have four players playing at the same time, and they, um, just went all in different mm -hmm. directions, and one guy found this iron, one, and they were still, like, barely even getting into copper armor kind of thing. And all of a sudden, like, once the guy found the iron and the goblins, all of a sudden it's like, holy crap, they're, like, the guy that was just still at base was like, why is there, like, a mob of 20 goblins all coming at the same time? What the heck would you guys do? And all it was was that the, the one guy found the area... And he even died and, like, came back and was going to go. And he was just starting to head back to get his tombstone. 
and a mob of goblins came to their base. It was like triggered an event that like now you're you're high enough level that okay, we're gonna keep sending guys to your base so that you can't even protect your base. It's like ugh. It's like it's one of those things that if I could Instead of setting up doors, it's like, okay, everyone's going to go exploring. Everyone have at least one wall with you to block off our base, you know, like instead of a door that they can. Mm -hmm. I know what you mean. Here, I got it. I just grabbed some wall. So, you want to grab that um, torch, though? Pickaxe or, um, yeah. Transgenic. Nope, you're fine. You were doing it. You, I think it was right click. Hit it. Construction complete. Because I don't think sword hits it. You have to do like pickaxe or shovel. Yep, one more time. Oh, no, with the shovel. You had it with the shovel. There you go. And then we've got this bottom way to come in from this side. Well, he can always break the wall. It's just sand and get to the slimes. I just, until you he wants to specifically do that, I'm just putting it there so that they stop coming into the base. What is everyone else is doing? Still fine. Pretty good. Oh yeah, we can ex we can ex we can expand okay. absolutely. Um, I mean, I know any, I was expanding over big here. Plans? How was your, uh, and I just realistically, the only reason why I made this area so uh, thick for tricky. filling the hole back up was because I just what? had a bunch of walls in my inventory. Your psychic so I just cloud, went, okay, uh, and I just hunting. used a bunch. So, so yeah, so if you want to easily like let's right expand, the only th I mean, we obviously a... can't move the shrines at all whatsoever. Like, in fact, that's what I have been. So, but I mean, like, yeah, we can do like try and make it with more of a square. And I can just go all the way to the corner. Researching that and I can make a corner on this side, like just to begin looking in. Make it bigger and roomier. Back. I'm gonna grab something to drink. Oh, that's fine. I just was trying to, you know, at least let you know what I was thinking for the rest of this stuff. Actually, it's not a bad idea. Back in like two minutes. Yep. So. Let's see. Maybe I'll instead. Everything goes crazy. Research complete. Yeah, absolutely. With how much we've been dying, we will. Okay, back. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that it. Okay, I'm back. It I'm might back. be a little faster if you use a pickaxe. Oh, so now, Rachel, I don't know if you've recently salvaged, but here, let me show you real quick. Over here in the salvage, you need scrap parts now to repair your thing. You just grab the blue hammer and you can click your thing. And then, if you want, we you can also like we can reinforce 
are things to make them last longer. I've been purposely avoiding reinforce right now just because we're fighting for enough material to make our other stuff. If it's like we had a crap ton of like wood we have a crap ton on, if we have like a wood tool, I would definitely say like reinforce that, but it's like I purposely figured we're not using wood tools anymore, so I wasn't gonna focus on that. I also learned out something funny for gardening and for um for excuse me for farming and for cooking if I could put stuff in the stove and I could plant stuff here all I want if you harvest all my stuff and take everything out of the pot you get all the experience even though I put up it put everything in so when Jet was helping me out gardening I'm like no that's my levels. <laughs> it's like I was trying to be nice. Like I know he's just being helpful, but that's my levels. That's why I was quickly like finishing helping garden the rest so that I could still get the rest of my levels. Research complete. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is good. Agreed. If you have one spare torch to put in this corner, I'd appreciate it. I'm out of torches right now. Uh, the bottom left corner. So just right in here. Because it's just a little dark. I don't know if anything spawns with light, but it's a Minecraft thing that I'm like, just in case, can you put something in there? You can if you want. Construction complete. What's up? What happened? Oh, by the way, don't forget, you, I made you a slingshot, so you've got ranged weapon in the chest. And it's infinite ammo, even if you've got nothing on you, you don't have to have anything. You need a hand? Okay, I'm just was offering. No, it's fine. Just was offering, just in case. Bugs. Gotcha. Want me to come with you just in case? Okay, I'm coming.
Oh. Yeah, you're not on your character, so of course. It has a... It has a slingshot. Oh, I was gonna say, where'd you die down here, it looks like, huh? Excuse me. You're excused. Got everything? All the slimes. That makes sense to me because it's like we just didn't have the torches or we're just trying to power so through it real quick. Makes sense to me. And I'm just trying to clean up a little bit of the slime not only to make it faster but at least less will spawn. Got him. Yeah. And I have, that I've seen so far, floor slime and floor bug stuff do nothing. They There's no reason to save them. But it gets rid of the fact that slimes, can spawn, slimes and bugs can spawn. Think you're good? Alright, I'm gonna go back and finish cooking. Research complete. of conditioning. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Get me built. <sighs> yeah. Mm hmm. I died. Oh, my science do die. 
Yes, do not die. Research complete. I like having the slingshot. The slingshot means I don't die as much to spiky boys. Maybe, but I haven't seen anything new with the YouTube that I'm watching. I haven't seen them, and I've seen some interesting crafting, but I've not seen any that's interesting. Flying, and blood, or stuff. In fact, I even saw one group just literally took some of the slime floors and in our room that they purposely closed off, put some of them back on the floor so that spines, spines could spawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, if we wanted to purposely make a slime room, we can make it only so big so that only so many slime spawn, but then as soon as we kill one, another one will spawn later. Kind of make it like an infinite room or whatever. Directed, the structure's first chamber is accessible, but an impenetrable door blocks any progress. Large alien glyphs. As of yet untranslated, have been carved onto the walls above the door. Fascinating. As mm. I've noted also that spiky slimes only appear if it's like there was a regular slime for a while and there's enough extra slime that they could upgrade to a spiky slime. Research complete. I don't know what that exact number is, but it seems like that it's a regular slime that will suddenly upgrade I've seen to a spiky slime that I thought was a regular slime just a second ago. What you doing, you mining? Or just lighten everything mm. up still. So. 
Maybe celebrate the grand yeah. opening of the Science Nexus. State-of-the-art research facilities and innovative technologies. And like I said, there, there seems to be a lot of them. The crates are always good. You can get random good stuff with that. Oh, my single player game that I started? I found a gun. Yeah. So it's like a more powerful slingshot, basically. I was so excited. I was like, yes! <laughs> Especially since at that moment I didn't have a slingshot, you know, because I just made them now, but we only had two slingshots, and I figured, you know, Preston and, um, Jet were the ones that were doing most of the fighting, so I figured they would benefit from it the most. That's why I gave them the slingshots, so... What do you hate when people, you know, revoke their guarantee of protection and then ask you to become their vassal? Hmm. A couple more ion cannons and that's it, though. By the way, Rachel, I've learned my um, way of lazy bridging. Is I will purposely, like, if I am near water and I, like, want to get across. And, um, it's like... Obviously, I don't have bridge with me. I will purposely mine the land, or shovel the land next to me, and then place it in the water area to get across. Yeah. I mean, if it's a huge ravine, obviously that doesn't always work, but smaller ones where it's like only one away. Ooh, crates. What do I got? Ooh, nice. I got a crude bomb. Nice. The more stuff we can get, the more... I mean, the bombs aren't amazing, per se, because, you know... Um, they... You can only set them, you can't toss them. Which sucks, but... And obviously, the one other thing I'm excited to do is I want to get a drill, but I think we have to have the, the iron table to have a drill. With the drill, we can get that big iron ore lump that's like right by uh, where you put the chest. Oh, hey. Hi. I'll just take it. I'll just take care of them right away so they don't attack you again. You have any wood? Because that you should be able to make without having to go back. Oh, okay. Uh, actually, here. Hold on. Here you go. You feel like breaching your microchip. I just made a bunch recently. Is the only reason why I had them. All right. <clears throat> By the way, I don't know if you know, but these jellies that aren't moving, that are stuck to the ground, those are basically like chests, but, um, I wasn't sure if you knew. Okay, I just wasn't sure. Yep, 
that. Construction complete. Oh, there's ranged combat versus regular combat. Did not notice that for our skills. What? Slime, if you just stay out of my way, I wouldn't have hit you. Ships upgraded. Nice. Do you not have any food on you? I thought Jet took a whole bunch, but here, I've got a bunch here. Right by you. Here you go. Excuse me. What? I can make more torches. Or we could just dig up dirt. Here. Oh. Yeah, but you want dirt floors, yeah. Here, hold on. And you could break up the wood. Here you go. I got us connected. Got us connected over here.
Big tree. Ooh, mushrooms. I will take these. Hey, that was tin. I just got over here. Big tin pocket here. We're declared. What? Uh oh, what? I think we're stuck. Oh. <clears throat> Why? Uh, it's been on. Oh wait, no, it's it's taking forward slowly. Yeah. I saw. I was like, what? What? Like a day every yeah. few seconds. Okay, it just Ooh. a couple just ticked by. What was in them? Yeah, yeah, we were stuck on we were stuck on that one day for about okay. forty five seconds. Yeah. I'm up to fifteen tin right now. Apparently, there was a lot to do that day. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're right next to buggies. Where you at? Research oh, you're north of me. Okay. Okay. But no, do you see where I am right now, Ish? Oh, your pickaxe? If you want, I can come up by you and, and mine it. But uh, the point being is below me, I can see in the other room. It's so taunting. There's a floating tin just sitting there. Research. But then there's, um, it, I see a notable, like, bigger bug that I know when they explode. They have, like, what um, one YouTuber called was, um, um, bug pee. But basically, it's like an acid that if you walk on it until you shovel it up, you take damage from it. So it's like, here, follow me for a second. Oh. Wait one second. Okay, just had to get rid of him. Follow me for a sec. See him right there in the corner? The glowy thing. That's the glowy, the, that's, so there's a bug region down there that I don't want to risk bumping into, and then we're dealing with a whole bunch of bugs for now. I mean, we can go in there, but I'd rather, like, I want to empty my inventory a bit more. <laughs> Construction complete. So I'm heading back. I'd like to empty my inventory. It is full.
Yeah, I think that that's a good sign. Well, we definitely have enough fiber now for three full sets of armor, but again, we need, well, and I'm smelting copper and tin right now, so we might have enough that I can make the full sets and then everyone just has to grab their stuff. No death. Construction complete. Gotcha. So I have an idea for the next stream game. Mm hmm that we do maybe stardew valley um because i've never done a full game of stardew valley i've only done like all right so a couple i've years additionally in. made i'd like to do a complete full run of stardew start completely fresh when i'm wearing and, and stardew. one i just put in the chest Please get to the point where i have like my first cow or two be able to <laughs> yeah yeah i know <laughs> yeah but if we do it for the win this stream we'd probably stick to it level. yeah it's yep. true yeah and it'd be an easy game on the computers because we seem to be struggling a little bit. And don't with forget, Stars. I don't know what Jet's level are, but if you're repairing stuff, yeah, some of um, us more than others. Don't forget to repair his armor me. too. What? Ooh. Oh, here, you know what? I will trade you if you give me that ring for um, Jethro. I've got a copper cross necklace plus 5% crit hit chance. Bet you he'd like that one better. No worries. You should have picked up the necklace also. I dropped. So if you have that ring... Thank you. 
Because I mine a whole bunch, so I, I, I'm more than willing to sacrifice that Jack could have the being able to hit better and I could have a chance at mining better. A lot of what? Oh, I just smelt it right away. That's why there's no ore. If you want, that's why. So right now, tin is smelting. So if you got tin, you could throw it in the furnace right now. But yeah, but you can still throw it in there and then they'll all smell together at the same time. And yeah, mushrooms could go in the purple chest. That the bomb goes in the gold. I'll take all the seeds. Or, so just throw them in purple. I'll take them out of there once you're done. Either that or just drop them and I'll take them. Either way. Yep, don't forget you it it's this it's this thing, but you're gonna need to come to the black chest first and grab some scrap parts. If you want, grab the whole stack just temporarily and then go over and then you no matter what you'll have enough. And then you just use the blue hammer when you're in this in the salvage thing and then click the items wherever it be like the armor or whatever, you just click them and then they'll um, repair them. Yes, the blue one. Yes. I think you should be able to um, hover over it and see how much it costs. Research complete.
Okay. So now I took everything out of the, the furnace. If you've got copper ore, you can put all the copper ore in now. Research I got all the ore out of your inventory. Uh, you don't have to. If you want to try and save it, I'd say put it in the white or the gold chest. I've been pitching the ones that I've been getting, so. Like, I just literally, when I hit tab, I hit the little garbage can thing. Yes, no, the ones that look like a big flat disc and it says, like, floor slime or whatever. Your inventory all good then? All repaired and all that? Yeah. The bomb is in the gold chest if you want. I put all my bombs in there. Because we don't use them very often. And the turf wall I think was just one of those generic because it was such an odd thing. I think we put them in the white chest, the turf wall. Yep, and there's plenty of spaces for that. Hey, suddenly it's raining. <laughs> huh. Okay. Ships upgraded. We need to get. Yeah, yeah. the wind's definitely we kicked up. We need to get up. going. We can end. Real realistically, I'm just futzing. I'm I'm done. I can cook when I when we next get on. I've got the stuff to cook. But I'll just literally log it out here like this. So. Alright. Yep. Have a good night. Don't forget to, um, it's when you're in the, oh no, I, yes that, but I was going to say in I Discord, um, you want like in the general, you'll yep. see like down towards the bottom right it says voice connected like a green like really? voice connected yeah, and then there's I'm a little of phone Stellaris, with so. X so you can disconnect ah. out of the call. Yeah that'd be a crash then. Yep. Blue Paradox has detected the crash and is uh, prepared to report. Yeah that. bottom left like you'll see like it says like voice well, connected a place green to call text. For tonight? Yeah probably. And there's a phone. So you just yeah, hit that, and then you'll get disconnected from the Thanks, everyone, call. for watching, and I uh, hope you liked it. Thank you. Me too. And, uh, yeah, so look yep, forward after we tomorrow. finish up this uh, series for bye. some Stardew Valley. So, bye. All right.